Hello eBayers and welcome to this eBay auction video. I'm selling this fantastic 1920s Carga precision metal turning lathe. Now I've actually got two of these lathes. There is an earlier treadle operated Carga here. That is being sold in a separate auction listing. Please see my other items. But this video is describing this first listing which is for this more modern electric operated machine. I believe it would have had a treadle as well. There's some evidence on the stand that there would have been a treadle present, but it's clearly been left as electric only operation. And included is this uh, 240 volts AC 50 hertz electric motor. There's a motor bracket actually there, which mounts on the stand, and the motor would drive via round belt this unit here. Just look at the quality of those bearings and then come across to the headstock drive here. Now this machine has undergone some restoration and uh, I've not put this on. This is ready to fit on but it's a tight push fit. So that fits on the uh, spindle there. Lovely tight fit but I thought for possibility that this might be having to be shipped, that I'd uh, leave that off. Um, this you can see as well is in wonderful condition. Um, I'm not sure whether they've been cleaned up or are original, but the bearings are all uh, mint. I can, in fact, I have taken some photographs showing those with the spindle out of position. Um, if we just look at this, which is of course the DE2 model, um, we've got uh, Morse Taper 3 tail stock. Notice this lovely uh, positioning indexing slide. It's all metric. So as I'm screwing this here, we have the marker point there. On the compound slide, we have settable index markers here, which is useful. You can set those and then do your winding. Um, again, as you can read there, metric made in. Berlin. We think about the 1920s, possibly 1928, because the serial number, which is actually under the tail stock, is uh, on the lathe bed. That is is 28995. Um, there's also for wood turning to rest. Um, if we look at this original tool drawer, and we can see we have the screw cutting facilities. It's a chase screw cutter with these star wheels with the thread and there's one on so this is actually the thread that makes the headstock um, spindle thread so you can make back plates or alter chucks to fit and that fits in place I believe you'd probably put a spacer there or something to hold that in position and the whole spindle moves um, so it's called chase screw cutting very accurate means of cutting a, a screw thread. Um, if you've not seen this type of lathe before, you undo the screw at the bottom and can then position these accordingly. Same with the uh, slide there and the tail sock, of course. Um, similar system on Holtzapfel lathes, much earlier lathes, of course. And in fact, the second Karga I'm offering. Uh, is quite similar in design to the Holtzapfel. Um, I have and use a Holtzapfel myself actually, so um, quite au fait with their design. But um, what else can we show you? Coming back to the accessories with this one, quite a few collets. Um, I haven't been able to find the collet chuck. I'm not sure whether these uh, presumably were used just in the chuck, um, but looking at the screw thread, that maybe fits to the spindle. I'm not quite sure on that. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, and there's one on six uh, masters for the thread and the appropriate star wheels, and that's in that nice drawer. Um, well, we've got a good chuck here, which is a automatic three jaw. Um, if anyone can tell me what this is, please do. Um, I'm not terribly sure. Uh, spare slide. Mount that fits under the bed, 
So that one fits on the bed, and that goes underneath. There's a number there, that's the one way up. Interesting. Whole host of parts there that came with it. Uh, the lamp, all the important electric lamp. And you can see, probably going to want rewiring, but it was a good impression. Uh, someone's had a go at repainting this, and they've clearly not decided which colour. Um, this is filler that seems to have been put on the surface, and there's also tracing of masking tape here. Uh, when I got it, all the surfaces have been masked off, and uh, it was a question of getting as much of that off as I could. Uh, I, I was going to paint it and use it for myself, but I've got to actually downsize my workshop, so both cargoes have got to go, I'm afraid. Um, if we look at this wonderful chase screw cutting mechanism in more detail, see this is dovetailed. Um, I'm sure all the lathe experts and enthusiasts out there are aware of uh, a fantastic site, lathes.co.uk. Well worth a look on uh, looking up Carga. There's uh, some detailed photos and actually an explanation of how this all works. So rather than me giving it you now, please have a look at that. But um, this effectively moves up and down. Uh, adjustment and uh, engaging tool there. This is a good example of that. Uh, it, if you're looking why we've got some covering here, that's masking tape. Um, it just wants some white spirit and uh, delicately removing. Really this wants uh, repainting from grey to perhaps a, a nice blue. That's presumably the original colour, the sort of 1920s, 30s engine room green. And we've also got a sort of 1930s, 40s blue going on on the bed there which has been overpainted. So pick your colour and paint it really. Um, anyway, there we go folks. Don't miss the opportunity to bid on this superb world-class precision metal lathe. I really don't think there's many cargoes left in existence. Um, this having a, a war reparation history is rather interesting. Had a lot of work done on the bearings. In fact, they're absolutely tight, there's just no movement. All the features, such as the scale there, the adjustable hand wheels there, um, really in super condition. It just wants a small bit of uh, work to get it back to operational use, but not much. That's the fun bit. Um, as I say, that's the auction. I've listed it as a heavy, bulky item. Um, I, put, I think I had to tick the courier box in doing so. So please be aware, if you can't come and collect it yourself, though I may be able to offer local delivery, because I have a van, it's more likely than not going to have to be an expensive packet and crate it as a pallet. I'm willing to make a crate if you're an international bidder, that's no problem, uh, but it would be at your cost. Um, so ideally you come and collect it yourself. Um, but there we go, I do know someone who's a shipping agent, if anyone was interested. So it'd be nice to see this going to a a lathe collector or else someone who wishes to use it for its original purpose as a precision metal lathe.